Well, let's bring in now New South Wales Opposition Leader, Mark Speakman. Mark, welcome to the program. Thank you, Shari. Look, what's your reaction to the rally that we saw at Sydney Opera House last night? And do you think it should have been allowed to go ahead? Well, it certainly should not have been allowed to go ahead. Uh, there was a protest yesterday at Town Hall and uh, the protesters, the mob, should not have been allowed to march through the streets of Sydney to the Opera House. The Opera House was being lit up uh, in solidarity with uh, Israeli citizens who had been massacred and their, their families and their friends and their loved ones here in Sydney. Uh, that should have been an occasion for the uh, Jewish community locally to, to grieve, to reflect solemnly on what had happened. Uh, but they were denied that opportunity because uh, a group was allowed uh, by this government to, to hijack the occasion and have an ugly protest on the steps of, Parliament, of, on steps of the Opera House. Mm. And what do you think about this direction to tell Jewish Australians effectively that the streets aren't safe for them, the streets in the heart of Sydney CBD on the steps of the Opera House, that it's not safe for them and that they should stay at home? Well, that's an appalling set of circumstances that a, a, a community like the Jewish community in New South Wales is not safe on our streets. What should have happened is that the, the mob should not have been allowed to descend on the Opera House in the way, the way we, they did. And instead, we see the ugly scenes, the anti-Semitic slogans, uh, the hate speech, the burning of a flag, the lighting of flames. None of that should have been allowed to happen. Uh, and uh, this lays at the feet of the government. Uh, it's all very well for the Premier, uh, as he's done, to um, express st uh, strong support for Israel and uh, a condemnation of what's happened overseas. But the government has been missing in action in allowing this protest to descend in the ugly way it has on the Opera House. What do you think of, um, you know, the, the decision by the police minister, minister Yasmin Catley, not to apologise today? Do you think that she should resign? And I know that there have been calls for her to step down. Well, I think she should reflect on her position. Uh, the police minister is a serial non-performer. Uh, she was missing on Tasergate, the tasering of Claire Nowland and the, uh, the lack of transparency there. Uh, there's a report on domestic violence gathering dust on her deck. Uh, she was um, uh, missing in action when there were shootings in Western Sydney and school kids were seeing dead bodies there. Uh, and now she's been missing in action on this. Mm. Uh, an active police minister would have... Uh, it, she, she told Parliament today that she had been in contact constant contact with the police and yet she has not lifted a finger she has not said anything to stop this protest descending on the opera house last night so she has been a continual failure as police minister mm. what's your assessment about the safety in sydney australia uh, for the jewish community i mean you know these terror attacks took place in israel but we have seen preachers express elation at the slaughter we've seen a lot of people celebrate this week in those southwest communities. Well, is it safe for the Jewish community? Even the Prime Minister has said there's been a rise of anti-Semitism and racism. Well, ultimately, uh, you'd have to ask the police commissioner and the police minister that. Uh, we had the extraordinary situation today of the Attorney General uh, on radio this morning uh, saying people should stay in their homes, uh, telling the Jewish community and the community more generally that if it's not safe on the streets, stay in your home. Uh, that's an appalling abrogation of responsibility. Um, we had the Attorney General this morning on Breakfast Radio not even knowing what had happened last night. This is the senior law officer in New South Wales. So you've got a police minister who uh, won't say anything to the police about stopping this mob descending on the Opera House. You've got an Attorney General who doesn't even know what's going on. Uh, you've got a Premier who, unlike the Prime Minister, uh, did not call on the protesters to desist. Uh, you've got multiple failures by this government. Mm. Now Mark Speakman, obviously now you're opposition leader, but you used to be the Attorney General of this state. What charges are there available for those last night who were shouting, death to the Jews, gas the Jews? Well, look, I'm not going to comment on, directly on whether there has been any breach of the criminal law in, in case there are prosecutions, but I'll speak at a more general level. Um, when we were in government, we introduced new provisions uh, in the Crimes Act, uh, making it a criminal offence to incite uh, violence or threaten violence on the basis of race or religion. Um, that's something the police uh, could look at. Uh, there are also um, laws about uh, federal laws about assisting terrorist organisations. Um, there are general uh, criminal law provisions about breaches of the peace, um, devices like uh, flames and so on. There's a, there's a wide variety of offences that the police could look at. And you think they should do so? 
Well, definitely. Uh, they say they are reviewing the situation. They're looking at footage. Apparently, they've got CCTV coverage. But what would have been better is stopping this uh, abhorrent behaviour in the first place. Absolutely. Uh, the police minister should have been... Should have been I mean, she said she was in constant contact with the police. Well, what was she doing? Mm. What was she doing? She was asleep at the wheel. She should mm. have been uh, demanding to know why this protest couldn't, couldn't be prevented. The Attorney-General should have been across his brief and when he went on breakfast radio this morning, know what happened to the Opera House last night. Yeah, the Premier should have been uh, telling protesters they should be desist. And the multicultural minister, Steve Camper, is nowhere to be seen. He was joking uh, big time today in question time about uh, parking in Moore Park. To my knowledge, hasn't said a word publicly about this abhorrent behaviour. And you've got the multiculturalism parliamentary secretary, uh, whose son, whose son was part of the protest. Now, of mm. course, that parliamentary secretary can't be responsible for his adult son's behaviour. I'm not suggesting that. Uh, but he needs to repudiate very clearly that behaviour. And if he doesn't, he should resign or he should be sacked. All right, Mark Speakman, thank you very much for your time.